Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What's up guys, Cloudy back again with a new reaction. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, Ruby, Volume 3, Chapter 4, Lessons Learned. As always, suggested by... Yeah. Um, once a week. That's what's up. Once a week. Um, yeah. Let's get it. The fight! Yeah. I wonder how good they are. Coco was badass at the end of the last season, so this should be good. I'll try not to get blood on it. Uh, I can't promise you'll leave without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like oh. her. Three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> Man, it's a minigun, huh? That was cool. I mean, considering how badass they were at the at the end of the last season, this was a bit surprising, to be honest. Man. Huh. You're leaving? Yes. I was merely needed to oversee the transport of additional units to Vale. Our last shipment was lost to an ambush. Hmm. I believe you had a run-in with its cargo, actually. <laughs> it's fortunate those paladins were still in the prototype stage. Otherwise, your team may not have fared so well. Oh. Twice. 
you've done well out here on your own. You should be proud. I'll be honest, it was quite amusing seeing Father's face the day you left for Beacon. I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? And what do you think you've learned? What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? I... You know I can't. Summoning? Be ridiculous. Every she has the ability to summon. We have for generations. I tried. Oh. It's just, it's the one thing I'm having trouble with. We Shis are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. But that doesn't mean that it will come easily. Your semblance is like a muscle. The more you practice with it, the stronger it will become. But if you only focus on one aspect of it, if you fail to test the limits of what you think is possible... Then you'll never truly grow. What? And by the way, don't ever call me old. Where was I? You were telling us about your last mission. Right, right. I come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something was right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grim along with me, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. That place was crawling with lowlifes and thugs, and even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired by less than reputable people for less than respectable jobs. Mm. And that's when it happened. What happened? I was defeated by the mere sight of the innkeeper's skirt length. <laughs> you are the worst! <laughs> Best two out of three. So, Uncle Crow, did you get in trouble with Oskin? Nah, uh, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> cool for an old guy. Not funny. Hey, so what are you doing here anyway? I thought Dad said you'd be away on a mission for like... Well, a professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> We're pretty much pros, too. Oh, really? Yeah, read the news sometime. We totally say Vale when we gone. Funny, because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. Sorry, <laughs> It's a matter of perspective. They don't give out medals for almost. <laughs> down Roman Torchwick. He's locked up in Ironwood ship and crimes been down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting like huntresses, but you're not thinking like one. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in a kingdom? I mean, I did until you said that. Violence hasn't dropped since Roman got nabbed. It stopped completely. No white fang activity anywhere around the city. You cut off the head of a King Taijitu. But now the second head's calling the shots. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You know the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. <sighs> team Stark. That's when I met your parents. We were pretty well known back in the day. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back that up. But I'll save those for when you're older. Hmm. Anyway, I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch of kids. I'm gonna cramp my style. Look, just remember that you've still got a long way to go. And don't think for a second that graduating means you're done. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. You two, you're gonna go far. But only if you keep learning. If you never stop moving forward. Hmm. Excellent four. Now think to your fallen foes. The ones that forced you to push yourself past who you were. And become who you are now. Think of them. And watch as they come to your side. This is what you 
call trying? Then you have no hope of winning the tournament, let alone succeeding as a huntress. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. <sighs> I don't need his charity. But you do need his money, don't you? What? How did you know about that? Lucky guess. I may have been in a similar situation when I joined the military. So oh. what have you done this time? Well, that's the thing. I'm really not sure. I went to pay for lunch the other day, but my card didn't work. How embarrassing. I know! Well, it was. Why would he cut me off like that? Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. Emotions can grant you strength. But you must never let them overpower you. It sounds to me like you have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Or you could continue to explore Remnant, discovering more about the world and, honestly, more about yourself. It's time for me to go. Mm -hmm. It was really good to see you, Rachel. Until next time, sister. <laughs> she did that? Cool. how uh, I thought that Coco would be really really strong after what we witnessed at the end of last season but they got taken down pretty easily I think uh, man thoughts yeah man this was a good episode um I thought that Man, I thought that Koko and Yasashi would be much stronger than they were. Or maybe is it because Emerald and uh, Mercury are super, super freaking powerful. I don't know. Uh, but they really kicked their ass with, uh, with uh, I mean, good fight. But I didn't really think that it should go as, uh, as easy for them as it did. Hardly any resistance at all. And, uh, man... Coco's glasses. <laughs> I mean, I wonder how strong Emerald is. Is she stronger than Mercury, you think? Because they haven't really... Sh mm. Yeah, I don't know. What else? What else was good? Winter summons a fucking Beowulf. That was pretty cool, I think. Uh, so that's nice. It's cool to know that they have that ability in her family. Uh, Uncle Crow, funny guy. Good times. Did you notice how they held his thumb over the over Yang's mom's face? I don't remember her name, Yang, Yang's mom. But, I don't know. Why haven't she told anyone about that? It's fucking weird. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, this was a good episode. Uh, the fight was nice. The whole playing TV games with Ruby and Yang was pretty cool. And the little winter vice moment was nice. So, yeah. Cool episode overall, I think. Man, it sucks to be on a, like a one once a week kind of deal now. It's nuts, man. It it sucks. <sighs> yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what you thought of this episode. Uh, like if you haven't subscribed, that'd be cool if you did that. And I see you in the next one.